public health advice for gay men, bisexual, and other men who have sex with men regarding the recent outbreak of monkeypox. An outbreak of a viral infection called monkeypox is currently being reported in countries that have not previously had any cases. Anyone who has close contact with someone who is infectious is at risk. Cases have been identified in communities of gay, bisexual, and other men who have sex with men who have had recent sexual contact with new partner or partners but the risk is not only limited to these groups. We know that this outbreak is concerning, especially for people who are unwell, their partners, families, and communities. Learning more about the monkeypox virus can help people protect themselves and help stop its onward spread to others. Knowing your risk to lower your risk. How to use this document. The advice in this document is intended for use by individuals, community leaders, influencers, health workers, and others affected by or working on the monkeypox outbreak. It contains information to help people reduce their risk of monkeypox and help slow the spread of the virus. Information about monkeypox is evolving rapidly. Advice may change as we learn more. Check out who.int for the most up-to-date information. What you need to know about monkeypox. First is symptoms. If you are exposed to somebody with monkeypox, you could develop symptoms up to 21 days later. Most people with monkeypox will get a rash. It can look like pimples or blisters and may be painful or itchy. Rashes can be found anywhere on the body, but is often found around the genital and anal region and on the face, palms of the hands, and soles of the feet. It can also be found inside of the mouth, the throat, the vagina, and the anus. Some people will have one or two lesions, while others can have several thousand. The rash remains infectious until it has crusted over, the scabs have fallen off, and a new layer of skin has been formed underneath. It can take several weeks for this process to occur, during which you should isolate in order to protect others. Other symptoms do include fever, swollen lymph nodes, headaches, muscle aches, back pain, and low energy. People may experience all or only a few of these symptoms. While some people will have mild symptoms, Others may develop more serious illness and need care in a health facility. Anyone who has symptoms that could be monkeypox or who has been in contact with someone who has monkeypox should call or visit a health care provider and seek their advice. How monkeypox spreads. Monkeypox is spread through close contact like face-to-face, skin-to-skin, mouth-to-mouth, or mouth-to-skin. This contact is with someone who has monkeypox, including kissing or sexual contact. People are infectious until their legions have crusted over and their scabs have fallen off and a new layer of skin has formed underneath. 
The virus can also spread from contaminated environments to humans, such as when a person with monkeypox touches clothing, bedding, objects, towels, electronics, or surfaces. Someone who touches these items can then become infected. It's also possible to become infected from breathing in skin flakes of the virus from clothing, bedding, or towels. Ulcers, lesions, or sores in the mouth can also be infectious, meaning the virus can spread through direct contact with the mouth. If you have confirmed or suspected monkeypox, what to do? Seek advice from your healthcare provider and get tested. Self-isolate and avoid close contact with others. This includes sex. Take care of your symptoms and your physical and mental health while isolating. You can help stop this outbreak by learning more about how monkeypox is affecting your community, combating misinformation by sharing only reliable, evidence-based, and non-stigmatizing information from trustworthy sources, staying calm, and taking care of your mental health and openly communicating with others. Having or being exposed to monkeypox is nothing to be ashamed of. Anyone can get monkeypox. Stigmatizing, blaming, or shaming people because of a disease is never okay. Stigma makes it harder to end outbreaks and can stop people from accessing services. Don't allow the fear of judgment to stop you from seeking the health care and social support that you need if you have symptoms that could possibly be monkeypox.